What's up folks, Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, along with Lisa the Kid. And today we're going to be reviewing Red Robin, DC Multiverse Killer Croc Wave. Finally found Red Robin. We're still not able to find Red Hood. That's the one now everybody's starting to look for us because it's just not around. We've checked five or six Walmarts, no luck. Actually, I don't even see Batman anymore. We need Batman and, and it was going to be the last and Red Hood was going to be next to last. But we're gonna go ahead and review this one, which looks really good. Uh, and uh, check out the accessories. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Do you remember your favorite uh, Robin in the movies? Um. Uh, what was his name? Uh, the one where, if you recall, he uh, his family was a trap trapeze artist. Remember the High Flyers um, in the that Carnival? Was more recent one. Well, it was. It was right after Michael Keaton. It was the next two or three, maybe three or four. Oh, that one. Let's go ahead over his weapon first. He has a staff and it's kind of flimsy and cheap. They added no paint to it. Just that gray. Uh, I think this was just the gray plastic they used. So not very nice looking. I didn't realize that was an accessory. It's just Yeah, he can't even hardly, yeah. And I don't recall him always fighting with like a bow staff like mm -hmm. that either. So it's kind of odd. He usually has like stuff that Batman fights with. He comes with these uh, fisted alternate hands. Uh, the ones he's, the hands he has on is actually, he can grip, they're gripping hands to hold the staff. These are just punching hands. So as you can see, it also comes with the left arm of Killer Croc. And it's, look how huge it is. Here's the figure and here's the arm. It's almost his length. It's, it's almost six inches there, just this arm. So it's gonna be ex very exciting to put them together. As you can see, the sculpt in it, they sculpted in all the scales. It's very nice looking. It's a few different paints of green, real subtle. Even the fingernails are painted and nicely sculpted. As you can tell it. So yeah, it's really nice. The figure itself is okay. It's basically... It's kind of basic compared to the others. Very basic, yeah. It's something you expect from Multiverse. It's not gonna be like a nice, like amazing looking figure, but it's not bad. He has a soft plastic cape. It's very soft. You can really, you can't really pose it for anything. The head sculpt's not bad. Pretty decent looking. He only comes with the one that's on him and he's got the green mask. The head uh, is on a ball, but because of the way they sculpted the cape, you cannot do anything with it. It's almost like a turtleneck. Yeah, so he has very little very little movement you can spin it around but you can't do much up and down stuff because of the cape itself has that turtleneck piece he does have the ab crunch so he has pretty good bendability there to the front but the cape kind of messes with the back bend uh, you got the waist swivel so that's an extra point of articulation that's nice you got the the yellow utility belt but it's molded right onto the body so you can't really move it not bad upper arm of course is on a ball so you can you can bend it all the way around he does have uh no upper bicep but he does have the double elbow which looks ugly when you look at him from that angle but he does have double elbow and also his hands go uh, they swivel they really didn't bring it with this one compared no, to the others. It's not as nice as the others, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely uh, kind of a fail for them. Yeah. The only reason they're going to sell it is because we need this. That's the selling point. Yeah. So we do have the upper thigh articulation, so they both bend. And they're pretty, since it's just black tights, it's pretty, pretty well hidden for that articulation. He does have the double knee. So you get a lot of bendability there, posability. And then he has uh, the leg is just pegged. So only, for some reason they didn't do this with the other ones, but this one just is on a, uh, it just goes front and back. There's no side bend. So that's kind of crappy. But as you can see on the side of the knee where the articulation points are, there's no pins. So they hid the pins, that's nice. But as far as the figure goes, I don't think uh, either of us really care for it no. much. Again, we just, we just need the part. This isn't the regular Robin. This is Red Robin, which the that's why the outfit's different. The uh, I'll try to dig up a actual Robin. I don't think I actually have one here. 
put I have it put away, but this is the red robin outfit. So it's totally different than the original Dick Grayson robin outfit, which I think this one looks more modern, a lot better looking. But that's gonna be the hunt. Uh, that's gonna be actually the video, I'm sorry. All we have left now is Red Hood, and I've had people all in up all up and down Texas looking for Red Hood for me and no mm -hmm. one can find it. Yeah, it's hard to find. We've been so, up, we've been a few places too. Yeah, we've been all over this area of South Texas and there's just no one carrying it. It's still available online. I'm trying not to do that because they've already started raising prices on mm. it because the company Mattel actually purposely did that. They put out less of that figure to make it a uh, more desirable, I guess. But anyway, that's going to be the haul. This is the Red Robin. Uh, what can I say? If you're going to build Killer Croc, you have to get them. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have skipped on them. I have yeah. some better Robins. Me too. So I guess that's it. That's going to be our review. This is the Tattoo Toy Hunter. And Lisa the Kid, and uh, we'll catch you later. Pew, 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 pew. Peace.